They can fly! Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Xerath Prevails. We're going to talk about the Afra Unlock mission with Hondo and I'm going to show you guys the modding and how to do it. It might take you a few repetitions to get through it, but you guys can watch me and trust the process because I'm going to do it live to show you how it can be done. I have a Relic 8 on Hondo, but I did take a mod off so that you guys can watch me struggle more and also you guys, you guys can see some more realistic stats for him so you don't have to have a relic 8 to unlock let's get to the slideshow whoa madness okay let's actually first mount the algorithm please go like subscribe and comment if you if this guide helped you folks that would be an amazing awesome thing spread the news about the algorithm and mounting spread the good news folks now, as I said before, I have Relic 8 on Hondo because I really like him, especially in 3v3. However, in 5v5, not 3v5, in, in, real, in real time, you guys are probably going to only have Relic 5, Relic 6 on Hondo. So this is what my stats are. And once you get to this level of stats with this, this much health and speed, you just want a lot of health and that's it, basically. Lots of health, lots of speed. Once you get to that level, you can, you can basically just beat this mission almost every time. However, this is Relic 8, and whereas I love Hondo at Relic 8, you don't need him at that level. You can get him to, so I took off a cross here. Here, the health cross is minus 25 speed and if we're also we're missing the set and the primary bonus and I mean this is a lot less 92 versus 107 it's uh you're missing quite a bit more so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this we're gonna fail quite a few times to get there but I'll show you guys the way you approach it and eventually you'll just hammer it out you'll spend 10 minutes and call it a good Time. Call it a good day. Maybe not. Maybe you'll just hate me forever for making you chase this. So let's uh, let's get into. Oh, this is this is not what I was trying to get to, folks. This is kind of fun. There we go. Oh, look at me. Woo. Let's move over. This is what Afro would look like with a dude's face. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's good. Let me let me make sure that you guys see. So you guys can see we we've got the same modding here. Um, and I'll show you the stats. Exact same health and speed as in the video. Here's the offense, just for reference. But offense is not really the issue here, folks. As you'll see, it's it's not really the issue. The the issue is trying to beat this mission eventually with the stats we have and you guys can I'm doing this and I'm gonna fail a lot because you guys I want to make sure you understand it does take a few times with RNG it's real simple how to do it but I want you to to understand that you'll eventually be able to bludgeon your way through it not just like struggle for an hour all right so first thing you're gonna do you're gonna ransom <laughs> Boba Fett I think it says uh, <laughs> ransoming Greedo so that's the first special and then the, the really important thing here folks is you're gonna want to spam his second one because that's pretty good but what we want to do first you just do a basic here and okay so Gamorrean guard just just taunted which is not actually wonderful for us that, that's probably dooms us you can just reset if you want to do that but now that we're at 10 stacks here because we did a basic first we can do this so we can so we can uh, do, do the ability block on everyone and now we'll just hang out. And uh, if you get a few good dodges early on, then great. If not, all right, so we failed. And honestly, guys, we, we might fail 10 times here and maybe you'll get frustrated, but we'll, we'll get through it. I wanna show you guys that this does work and it works consistently, it just takes a while. And once you increase those stats though, it, it won't. So uh, it, won't, it won't be hard at all if you if you care to do that all right so basic second and all right he taunted again so that means he doesn't always taunt this early sometimes he takes a while it's just rng on what abilities he uses and actually it's kind of nice to shoot him because sometimes you get extra stacks here from the dodge yeah yeah that doesn't work that way all the time sometimes though if he dodges if you dodge it's uh you know really dodge is nice very very nice I spent about an hour trying to figure this out here, folks. Trying to 
trying to make it work and I, I was using like tenacity sets and all kinds of crazy stuff all right so are you just trying to prove me stupid here gamo just uh taunting every single time like i said people like i said you don't yeah well all right very well then so be it some point we'll just RNG our way through it. Like I keep saying, folks, if you get if you can get higher stats, like you, you can easily get higher stats than this. I'm I'm just uh, reducing my health stats just for you, just for you, folks. All right, that's how you know I love you. That I'm going through this a second time. All right, so he's not taunting this time, so we've got a better shot here. We'll just keep hammering at Greedo. All right, so we've got some good dodges here. Once you get over 20, it starts starts looking a lot more likely. It doesn't always work, though. Don't get your hopes too high, folks. Okay, so you're going to want to just lock Gamo up again, but it's probably better if you just in, or if you just ability block everyone here. And this, here's where, yeah, you, we could get could have gotten frustrated and died. But, all right, so now we, we have enough protection there that we can... We can do this, and so every stack we get, our our ability to live continues to increase. And now we're we're at forty now. Woo, pretty cool, pretty fancy. This this should probably be a win here, folks. I'll probably do a few more runs just just so you guys can, just so you guys can see the proof of concept that it does work. Uh, you know, eventually, eventually we can get it to work. So uh, let's lock up Java's major domo. Nice. Just for funsies, and his max number of uh, of these stacks is 50. But yeah, I mean, he he just ramps super nicely, super nicely, and eventually he just becomes an unkillable machine. See that? That wasn't so hard. Let's see. That took a total of seven minutes here, folks. I'll we'll spend just a couple more minutes doing this fight, just so you guys can see uh, the the you know. It feels discouraging until finally it just been eventually you get enough dodges and, and it works. And uh, I mean, like I said before, it, it's super important, guys. The second you, you got to do it in this order. Yeah. Okay. So, good morning, guard taunted. That means we probably lose. Sometimes you don't lose. And if you have the stats like I had for my relic eight with the good mods, then you you really don't. You, like you still just win most of the time. Look at that, a couple more dodges, we can actually just make this work. Okay, um, and yeah, let's increase their, well, ability block them at least. Yeah, okay, see, we, we might actually win this two times in a row, that would be fancy. Of course, don't get your hopes up until, once you get past 20, it, it really does start feeling like you have a pretty good chance, and now we're at 30. Once you get to 30, yeah, we're, um, we're cruising, folks. doing good I think we got this act in fact I think we've got it indeed so should boost us all the way up to 50 there we are and yeah this also ramps our damage Dam ramps ramps all kinds of things guys <laughs> this is Jabba the hut let's lock Jabba up here got him all right, folks, that was it for the Hondo mission. I'll go, I'll run through these other ones here with you pretty quick. It's, it's fairly easy, however. All right, I actually took a break there for a minute here. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do the rest of these here. So let's, let's get it done. Uh, so I have Relic 7 on these two. And I'm assuming you guys are going, like, only, going to only have Relic 5, and so I'm going to do the same thing I did for with Hondo. I'll just remove this cross here. There we go. BT1. Doesn't need a lot of speed, some health, and whatever. You want to just focus on a lot of damage for him. And then, honestly, I, I don't even think it matters, guys. I, I'm not even going to... Triple zero, he's a little over 300 speed, like 311, something like that. Uh, he's not particularly well modded, so let's get Torture here on Commander Luke. That calls an assist, we'll just spam basics here. He's gone. 
And now it might take a little bit. I wish we had an auto button because we could just hit auto basic and win the rest of this. Look at that, they stunned our guy. Bummer. Uh, maybe, maybe this takes a couple attempts, I, I don't really know. Just the auto, just spamming our basic attack here though should just get it for us. Yeah, that's all guys. Spam basics, kill R2. Kill, kill Luke, then kill R2, then you get This one is probably my least favorite out of all of them, folks. And we actually, we need to show you a slide. Hold on a sec. All right, whoa, we're, we're in the slideshow. Uh, so, <laughs> she, I didn't have any problems when I first did this, and uh, trying to recreate it is actually a little bit tougher because uh, they're, I, I, don't, I actually don't know. I probably just got a good RNG my first time, but, I have her at Relic 6 right now. I, I unlocked her at Relic 5 pretty easy, and I think I got it on the first try. This this isn't something that you always get. It's not 100%, though. So you can see it. I've got physical damage showing there. I know that she does special damage, but this is just kind of a baseline for you guys to see how much offense you probably want to be getting on her. And, uh, you know, so we have, we have a decent amount of speed on there, and then offense set, potency set, and then you want offense primaries with a tr crit damage triangle if you can. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to the game, and I'll show you guys how that is done as well. If I can actually find the right button this time. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'll, I'll let you guys see the stats here real quick, just so you can verify that I'm not trying anything crazy. No sleight of hand, we're doing this all live again, of course. And it's gonna be fun, folks. All right, a lot of, uh, this is such a dumb mission because she, all of the stuff she does, she buffs a ton of people. She doesn't really buff herself that much. So what we're gonna do first, uh, we, we, we gotta till, kill BT1 because he'll just delete us otherwise. So we, we, got, we can do three hits on him in a row, hopefully that's enough. So we start with this, gives ourselves crit chance up. Okay, we want that vulnerable. You want some of that potent, some potency because you want to be able to actually apply vulnerable sometimes. Now we'll just do a basic here. Got vulnerable on all of them, which is cool enough, I guess. Everyone gets a shot at us. When they put torture on us, that that's um, usually, we're, we're not doing too hot if that happens. Okay, that did, do that did kill. BT1 there though, so that, that that's good. The other thing is, guys, if we're not getting counters, which is like 35% of the time we're supposed to get counters, then we we just die in this phase anyways, which looks like we do. BT1's air slap, it's just too OP here, folks. But modding for offense and crit damage set, like, I, I tried all the different sets, actually. I tried survivability, I tried, I tried potency, uh, even tenacity. None of it works as well as this method, trying to kill BT1 with an offense set. So you start with that, again, do the basic. <clears throat> oh, look at us, we're, we're hitting back a little bit. And they always vary what, what attacks they do, yeah, okay, so our AoE killed, Ooh, we almost even just killed. A stupid fake 3PO. Air slap 3PO. Yeah, okay, so we, we got all the assists this time. Easy, easy peasy. Or the assists, the counters. Well, let's do this run. Let's run this a couple more times just so you guys can see how it works. Remember, the more stats you have, the more survivable you are, the better it's going to be. All the different, like, I only, I could only find a couple videos on this, actually, and they all cherry picked like crazy. I'm like, okay, you didn't get all those things in, <laughs> all those good factors all in the same fight on their first try. I'm, in, unless your first try was just super lucky, but that's, it, it was just like, all right, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop messing around, man. Okay, so we didn't kill BT1, so we probably die here. We don't always die here, but, uh, bt one's gonna get another shot at us, and it's, unless he misses, we probably just die here pretty hard. Air slap. Yeah. Yep, unless we had hit him back for that air slap, we would have. We, we were doomed. Tried a couple more times. 
Maybe there's a better chance, a better way to do this, folks. I did, I did spend a while trying to figure this out, though, several hours, just trying to replay this, get it, get it to the perfect amount without unrealistic stats, etc. Who knows? Maybe it is actually unrealistic how how good these stats are, but just keep adding relic levels, guys. They're easy. No, <laughs> they're not. Remember when she does her basic into someone with vulnerable, it hits it. It turns everyone else vulnerable, unless, of course, they choose not to let you. Yeah, okay. So you can see you, you get it eventually. You get it like it, putting that re putting those remods. You, you're not gonna want her like this. We'll do it one more time, guys. Win or win or lose, we'll do this one more time just so we can get some repetition in. But, um. <clears throat> You're gonna want these these same mods on her in you know GAC or whatever, <clears throat> but it's good to uh, you know just get the unlock and then and then we can move along. Okay, let's see if we can kill BT1 there. Wonderful. <clears throat> Oh, she hit back, but she didn't kill up. Oh, then she did hit back there. Yeah, if she's hitting back, <clears throat> thing, things are easy. And of course, you only have to do this once, guys. So get those stats and move right along from this mission. Now, I guess I can show you guys this. This is um, this is fairly silly. So we're not even we're not using my characters. We're using theirs. They assigned us characters, I guess. Super fun. Start by disabling the astromech, then eliminate the princess. Next, take out the protocol droid, followed by Skywalker. Defeat the two Wookiees, saving the smuggler for last. Okay, so... Okay, let, let's do the AoE here real quick. Just to get, you can see those stacks on Afra increased now. And let's uh, increase their cooldowns here real quick. And this is all just like, you can see the little blue mark here. Um, you don't want to kill anyone else. Of course, you have to do this. So that, that's a little bit scary. You don't want to kill anyone, like I said. So just, just basic attacks, single fire shots here are great. Because you can taunt here, Chrysanthemum, for whatever good that's going to do all of us. Don't do the AoE here. There we go. This doesn't kill anyone that isn't C-3PO. But screw that guy, seriously. We can save the torture for later. Trying to do Merciless Massacre here is a misguided move, folks. Pretty easy to do this, though. Just basic attacks. Sure, we can we can put torture on. Remember that calls BT1 to assist. Yeah, now we can do merciless. Cool. And that's it folks. Hope this helped you a little bit on your way. Takes a while to figure all this stuff out, but it's easy enough. So thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.